My Lord's concern for social justice and human rights are basic to Sikh teachings, and I was delighted when the homosexual community were given full protection and dignity under the law through civil partnerships. It's, however, important to remember that social equality and respect for difference is quite different from the pursuit of uniformity and sameness and the deliberate masking of difference by changing the accepted meaning of language, in this case, the accepted meaning of the word marriage. And in this, I share the concerns of the noble Lord Campbell Sayers. The one fact of life is that we're all different. We're all different in, uh, differ in our physical and mental attributes and in our dislikes and preferences. Most people form opposite sex partnerships, giving birth to children and nurturing them in the family unit. This type of relationship defined by the parameters of declared commitment, consummation of the relationship and social commitment for the nurture and care of the family has long been defined as marriage. My Lords, difference should be respected. While same-sex partnerships are primarily for adult companionship, they do not say, share the same social responsibilities and parameters that define the word marriage in so many different religions and cultures. My Lords, what I fail to understand is the pretense that marriage, with its clearly defined parameters and attached responsibilities, is the same as same-sex adult companionship, when everyone outside Westminster knows there's a world of difference. There's no evidence of majority support for this measure, even in the gay community. The well-known columnist Andrew Pierce, in an article in the Daily Mail, writes, I'm a gay man who opposes gay marriage. Alan Dunkel, the international aid minister who is in a civil partnership, is implacably opposed to gay marriage. David Starkey, the openly gay historian, is also opposed to the concept of gay marriage. The Labour MP, Ben Bradshaw, who was the first cabinet minister to enter into a civil partnership, has openly criticised the idea of gay marriage, saying that the move to smash centuries of church teaching is pure politics, not wanted by the gay community, who have already won equality through civil partnerships. My Lords, there are no end of statistics that show children's life chances are linked to stable relationships to natural parents. If marriage is diluted to become no more than adult companionship, this will simply add to a growing focus on adult happiness to the inevitable neglect of our children, with more and more being taken into what we call care. If a committed relationship is all important, where is the logic in not extending this to bigamous relationships? After all, there are more Muslims in this country than gays. Why discriminate against um, this particular religious community? Blind pursuit of unthinking equality has, can have unforeseen consequences. In mathematics, if you want to see where an equation is heading, you tend to take it towards infinity. Look further down the line. Here we need, desperately need, to look further down the line. My Lords, much has been made of the so-called consultation process. I, along with other members of the Interfaith Network, were in, was invited to a consultation meeting and told that the government, po government policy would not be affected by our views. We are back into the world of Alice in Wonderland. Sentence first, verdict after. The 87% majority against the measure has not only been ignored, but turned round to claim a 50%, 57% uh, vote in favour of the measure. Government assurances that their lawyers see, see little likelihood of European human rights legislation being used to force people to act against their conscience 
inspire little confidence when we re remember that the same lawyers said that there would be no problem deporting a certain Muslim cleric. It is in reality a measure that could well force many with sincerely held religious and ethical beliefs to either compromise those beliefs or lose their job. This has already happened to people like Adrian Smith, who was demoted and had his pay cut by 40% for saying on his personal Facebook in his own time that gay marriage in church, churches would be an equality too far. My lords, this is an ill thought through measure that seeks to destroy a basic fundamental institution of society without any understanding or consideration of consequences. It's a measure that has not been uh, uh, consulted with, with the public at all. It has no mandate. And for that, these reasons, it's a measure that I fully support the amendment of the noble Lord Deer. Thank you. Lords, it's a pleasure to follow Lord Sim.